What's up all my lovely faces of the internet? It's your boy M. Lee on the films, the multi-talent king, aka the hobby collector. Here to give you guys a little look at my rig uh, for 2022, you know, and going forward. Uh, we'll be upgrading to the Blackmagic 6K Pro. I know I haven't really talked to you guys about the camera I'll be using or, you know, what camera I'm upgrading to ever since I sold my uh, C100, but it will be the Blackmagic 6K Pro, so get ready for that. Got my trusty knife. So as I open this stuff up, uh, I will not be talking too much about the camera I'll be using next year because I'll be saving that for a different video. For right now, I'm gonna open up these packages that's been uh, I've been having sitting around actually for about two weeks already. And this is pretty much the uh, black, not black magic, but uh, small rigs, cage, and you know what I'm saying, rolling for the black magic camera. So let's go ahead and dig into it. Go ahead and open up the, ma the main bad boy first and I'll be popping up the prices and you know and how much I got it for because I did get a good deal on a lot of this stuff or a lot of my film equipment and what I like to do with, before I buy my um, main camera and stuff for those of you that have been following me for a long time you already know this about me already that I like to buy accessories first you know what I'm saying it's kind of like an appetizer when you go to a restaurant you know what I'm saying like when you're at a restaurant and you're ordering food you know they don't have you just sitting around waiting around for your food you have your little appetizers little stuff you can stack on to get your stomach ready to not not really fill you up but kind of give you something to kind of hold you off while you're waiting for the food to get prepared same thing with this i buy my accessories a little bit at a time and get excited about my accessories while i wait for my main camera as i save up the money for that see i got some other rig pieces up here that i already own that i already own already you know a little small handheld handheld rig a little shoulder rig right here which i'll also be using with the black magic 6k pro so yeah you ready for that so comment like and subscribe because your boy got a lot of videos coming got a lot of projects i got planned i even got it written down inside my phone that i'll be doing with the black magic so yeah man so here's the full cage right here um man i can't wait dude i'm excited y'all have no idea i know i haven't really been updating you guys but if you do follow me on instagram and stuff like that i do post a lot of different things you know i'm the multi-talent king so you never know what's coming from me i have all kind of different talents and all kind of stuff i'm in too so so i'm already getting excited already you know um open this bad boy up so you got a little black piece right there don't really need that does this whole thing come out i want to stand up folks so the thing I love about having this already, without having a camera yet, it kind of gives me an idea of how big the camera is. Now, the main thing people have been saying about the Blackmagic 6K Pro, oh man, it's way bigger than I thought. Man, it's, it's pretty big, like wow. Like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of too big. I'm used to the uh, Canon C100 Mark II uh, cinema camera, and that's way bigger than the uh, Blackmagic 6, 6K Pro, the way it sits and then the width of it and everything. So if I'm used to that, and everybody's saying that this is too big. This is gonna be perfect for me, you know, the perfect size and everything. And as I can see, this is gonna be pretty much how big it is. And I like that. Okay. Uh, got all your little different holes for all your, all your little different accessories. The T5 uh, SSD. Yeah, man, I can't wait. What else does that boy come with? Got a little pouch right here. Okay, you got a uh, Allen wrench. Got a million of these, you know. Got a screw inside there. I don't know exactly where that goes to. I think it's probably an extra one. Yes, yeah, an extra one of these, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So just in case you, you lose that, you got an extra one. Yeah, man, next package. <clears throat> So this right here, this next piece, again by Small Rigs, is for you to mount your phone focus. So that mounts, this mounts on the side of the camera and then the rolling goes through there and then a follow focus goes on there for the camera lens and stuff like that. Another Allen wrench, two of them, don't need. So <clears throat> little piece right here. And that mounts, that's, and this should work hand in hand with this rig because all these pieces are made exactly for this rig. So it should mount, yep, in the front right there. It has like a little pin and a screw. So the pin helps it stays in place, stay in place, you know, and don't wiggle around when you screw it down. You know how you tighten something down and it still can get, have like a little wiggle room because it's not tightened enough. Shit, I might need the Allen wrench already. So I'm going to get this Allen wrench out. I kind of low-key feel like this don't fit inside here, to be honest with you. This ain't lining up or something. Or maybe I ain't pushing that pin in correctly. Let me see something. Mm -hmm. 
Bro, this still ain't screw on the side there. All right, folks, so the pin, that, so there's a screw and a pin. The pin that you're supposed to use a small atom wrench for to screw in, the pin doesn't want to fit in place through the hole. But I do got to screw down. So there's like, that screws in right there. There's a rolling piece that goes right there. And then the follow focus, which I still got to order, goes right there. And then it, you can use that to control the focus of the other lens. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Go ahead and get back into it. Y'all seen that? So this right here is my HDMI cable. I brought another coiled HDMI cable for my screen. So if I do use an external monitor, which I do have inside there, a little small one, nice, super crisp HD. Um, just wanted to order me a new one. A little, see, little coil HDMI cable so you can kind of stretch it a little bit. This right here. This right here is supposed to be real carbon fiber. So let's go ahead and see. So let me go ahead and take my glasses off. Oh yeah, it is carbon fiber. Okay, I like that. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? So that screws into there like that. So it'd be something like that. I can actually use this handle too, just to give you a demonstration on. It maybe might not line up correctly. Let me see. Yep, it lines up. Let's go. But this is a smaller handle, so I wouldn't use that for this uh, setup. But so I love these little things. So the camera already has a handle right there, so I hold it something like that. This is oh, oh yeah, okay. This is for the T5 SSD. So instead of having the cable just plugged into the SSD without having no security and stuff like that, this pretty much attaches to the end of the SSD and then this screw holds the cable in place. So when you plug it in, you screw that down so you can't accidentally yank it out. So let's go ahead and get to the next item. I think it's the last thing and I believe this is the LCD hood for the monitor for the black for the black magic 6k pro monitor itself the screen gets bright enough in bright sunlight i've been seeing so many youtube videos of people saying that over and over and over again but i still opt to get this bad boy anyways just so you can just have it you know and have that extra security of being able to see the screen in bright, bright sunlight and then it just looks good here it is right here it says small rigs on top which I don't mind representing small rigs, you know what I'm saying? They do a good job with their products. So I like how this att attaches and everything to the screen. So this will pretty much be, this will look like this pretty much in theory. Not in theory, but in, in future, you know? It'd be something like that because the front of the camera is facing that way. This attaches onto the screen. The screen can tilt up and down on that 6K Pro camera. So I can't wait, boy. Let's go. All right, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and overview and impressions of my rig pieces for my Blackmagic 6K Pro. Um, while editing this video, my wood handle did come in the mail, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that inside this video as well. So go ahead and break that on open. Um, and, and as you guys can see, I got a lot of this stuff for a very good price, like the side handle I got for $39.99 and it easily goes brand new for $70, $75 to $80, but I end up getting it brand new for 40 bucks with a sale. And same thing with the cage. You guys seen I got the cage for about $68 after tax. As you can see, I popped the price tag up right here. And it's a real good handle, especially if you got big hands. I got extra large hands, so you know this this fits my hands perfectly. See, I got real big hands, like my hands are huge. And here's like a little comparison right here of both the handles next to each other. And there's a big difference, as you can see, even though the other handle don't feel too bad, like I mentioned before, but it's still a huge, huge difference. Screw that on in. Also, there's holes 
on these hand screws and you're supposed to use the allen wrench to stick inside there and tighten it up or anything that's strong enough like a small screwdriver stick it inside one of those holes each one of those holes to tighten it uh, further this handle can also be switched to the right side of the camera as well all you gotta do is use, use your allen wrench which is included uh, with the handle and just unscrew it and screw unscrew the mechanism and screw it on the other side of the handle and as you can see I put the other handle on the other side just to show you just a representation of how it would be if I had two handles one on each side and it actually is super comfortable and stable now at the bottom of this cage there's a lot of mounting points I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video but there's a lot there's like 12 let me see one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, yep, like 12 different uh, holes at the bottom of this um, cage. Even for your DJI stabilizer, it has holes, mounting holes, quarter inch holes for those. So, and as you can see, you got your nice little storage for your um, Allen wrench, which is held, by, by, held down by a magnet. All right, folks, so that's going to pretty much do it for this unboxing video. Thank you guys for watching. Be looking out for more videos to come. And um, if you're looking to purchase any of these pieces, of course, the link, the links will be down inside the description. So go ahead and go down below and check that out. Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Another, another Allen wrench. Another one.